What's going on people, we're back again. We return, make sure you like, subscribe. You already know the process, you'll see the buttons here, 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 here. I have all of that. Put the buttons on there. Put the buttons on, man. <laughs> no. All right, well, you know where the You know like where the is. buttons are. You know where the buttons are. Like, subscribe, share. Today, what we've got for you is another ghost videos. And the title of this one is Five Ghost Videos So Scary You'll Need New Pants. <clears throat> and if you've seen the previous episodes, he looked like he needed a set of new no, pants. No, I, my pants are fine. Mm -mm. I didn't need new pants. But. I needed. Yeah. God. <laughs> needed answers. But yeah, we're back again. And we're just going to get. Just things fall in. The ghosts are here. Straight to it. <laughs> Deep breath. Just these videos. Top five ghosts caught on camera. Wrong way. Urban Explorers Matt and Andy from the YouTube channel Finders Beepers History Seekers explore the event. As per usual, anybody that's on YouTube that's involved in this video, their links are below. Osley Manor in Liverpool, England. The manor. But that's down the road, it's in the manor, fam. <laughs> has a very dark history. The Victorian building was constructed over 150 years ago. That looks fucking haunted. Yeah. And that's a cartoon drawing. Cartoon? That's cartoon. Okay. It's not just a drawing, it's cartoon. It's a cartoon drawing. <laughs> it's a cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like Merchant Nicholas Duckworth, who passed away in the home in 1889. <laughs> In 1940, the manor served as a home for unwed mothers and their children. It was later sold to become a care home for the elderly and disabled, called Mosley Manor Care Home. Around 2014, reports began to surface of abuse and terrible living conditions at the Mosley Manor home. Even more disturbing, families discovered the unreported deaths of at least 10 elderly patients in the home. Oh, nice. The care home was shut down in 2015. For obvious reasons, many claim that the Mosley Manor is haunted and is a hot spot for paranormal activity. But Matt and Andy from Finders Beepers are certainly not ghost hunters or even necessarily believers in the paranormal. They're just a couple of guys who enjoy doing urban exploration of old decaying properties like the Mosley Manor. Yeah, the fact that they're not actually ghost hunters, they're like, just like, go back for history and stuff, and then something happens. I mean, they could still it could still be set up so that they get more views on the channel, but... It, it allows your... And cracking a few jokes along the way. All right, so you just come in to a sort of... where they keep files and diaries and one thing or another. The office. It doesn't look suitable to enter the building on account of him having a wild expression in his eyes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How can... Psychopath coming in. The bit... Who can judge whether somebody should be allowed in because they've got a wild look in their eyes? Never let me in, would they? <laughs> this building is amazing, actually. I really want to go scrambling around on that roof. But I don't know whether I'm just currently too far. I wonder how many like, <laughs> Americans haven't got a clue what Jesus these lot are saying. Because <laughs> they're from the arts. Oh my god, my heart. This is like the entranceway. Not that we can see it because they're Andy's bones. Even though the two guys try to keep the atmosphere light, when they are on their way up the manor stairs, Matt sees something truly chilling. And suddenly, things just aren't so funny anymore. <laughs> Look at his face! <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this is, this is, this is exactly what I'd be like. It's because we went down to the base when he's thrown me. Totally thrown me. Apart from the fact that I want to carry on walking up the stairs. Wallpaper in here, it's like good quality wallpaper. Well, we'll see. Yeah. So, but yeah, you can see it goes up again. Hey, wait up. I saw that. Hello? I, I didn't. Tank lap ran past. <coughs> yeah, back down. There's somebody up there. Hello? <laughs> I feel like somebody down there as well. Right, I'm going up. What, just run? These people always do this. Oh. Right, I, I've gone cold. 
the direction it yeah. ran in, there's nothing there. It's just, just the wall. Oh, it might have been. I've gone cold because I saw somebody stood there. I saw a leg. And they went that way. Hello? <laughs> Method did you just fall? When you said that way. And there's no way yeah, you can go. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It went that way. It was you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then subtitles. I told you Americans wouldn't know what they were saying. No, this is actually like, even when it's not dark and this was an actual care home. That's weird. I'm gonna have to look back at the footage. Oh, hey, when the camera spins fast. As Matt films the something. top of the staircase, he captures what appears to be the legs of someone or something See? who seems to be watching them. The figure immediately walks off toward the right and disappears. Matt and Andy immediately head up the stairs to investigate, but they can't find anyone or anything to explain what Matt captured on camera. Even stranger, there is nowhere for anyone to walk or hide. <laughs> Now keep in mind that the mysterious figure disappeared towards the right side. Well, that just leads toward a wall with a tiny boarded up window. The mysterious person seems to have simply disappeared into thin air. But they went that way and there's no way you can go. So could it be that they captured the ghost of Nicholas Duckworth still roaming his Victorian home? Could it be the apparition of one of the elderly patients that passed away inside the manor? Let me know what you think. You can <sighs> Matt and Andy's full exploration over on their YouTube channel, Finders Beepers, History Seekers. Meanwhile, right, you'll find the link below. My theory is there's a fourth dimension. What? That came out of nowhere. Yeah, that's it. That's 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 the statement. What are the other three? What? There's a fourth dimension. What's the other three dimensions? Well, we are three dimensional. Yeah. And there's a fourth dimension. End. What about Mario and that? That's 2D. What about what? Mario. Bring. On TikTok. <laughs> TikTok user Chips also, and Chick. I will say before we get into this one, that one I think was more real than. Half of the ones we watch. Watch some of the ones we watch, just because they're not looking for that. Yeah. Well, you don't know that. Mm. Like I said, they could try get views, but yeah, the way it just like it kind of took a little back step first yeah. and then walked off. But yeah, I don't know how guys like that they don't see like the type of guys that know how to edit a video to make it. Well, it's not just that. Just to it's hold just the camera. Yeah, yeah, but it's all kind of people. It's it's again just the unknown, isn't it? Because you, your brain just process it as it tries to figure it out from what we know and mm. what we're informed of. Hence why I'm saying this. Like, it's just four dimensional. Done. That way, my brain goes, ah, that's cool. Just forget about it. As oh, a, yeah, just forget about just it. Forget just forget about just it. Cause you don't, yeah, because you don't understand. Just forget about it. <laughs> now, the, the TikTok ones, they're a bit shaky. Shared a strange video. She explains that the video was captured by CCTV late at night in the 50-year-old building of a union center in California. One night, something triggers the building's alarm. So the office manager goes to check the CCTV footage. He finds a truly chilling discovery that as TikTok user Chips and Chicken put it, quote, freaked him out. That's pretty cool. If a girl were long hair. It's look like she's floating, Bob. I was about to say, if a girl with long hair whoops out from my okay. nail. No, man, that's fake. I'm not having it. A white figure can be seen hovering around the back of the building. Workers who watched the footage believe it might be the spirit of a Union Center member who had recently passed away. <laughs> TikTok user Chips and Chicken is baffled <laughs> by the footage. I don't think she so. says that all of the men who work in this building are elderly and simply wouldn't know how to fake something like this. So is it real? No. Or is it just an elaborate hoax? What's that? You decide. 
TikTok user, your mom's undies. <laughs> Shout out you, though. <laughs> Let, let's just take a second for the giggles to pass. All right. Uh, anyway, she claims that she is usually unaffected by anything scary that she watches on the internet or TV. But when her uncle sent her this video captured at his apartment in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, she was shocked. Oh, it's just someone chilling now. Huh? Yeah? There's just someone sitting there. Well, oh, you didn't see that. Oh. That <laughs> yeah, I got that as well. Activity for the entire four years that they have lived in this apartment. I thought the thing down the bottom they was someone sitting there. I thought like that was someone before. Why? Yeah. What terrifies the family even more is that the dark figure, which appears to have claws for hands, can be seen coming out of their sleeping baby's bedroom. When they received the notification yeah, of captured movement that. caught by their security camera. They say they immediately fled the apartment yeah. to stay at their parents' home. Oh, so I did the family capture some dark entity on camera? <laughs> you decide. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com <laughs> to wake the dead. That was scary. The though. first one. What? The, oh, the, first the, the fake, the fake video. Was fake. Go away. Just by the way, like the bottom of it, like you see how it was like it had moved like this and the bottom would be like moving after like it's something if you held up like a piece, toy a piece of material or anything like that the bottom like just the way you do this with it yeah it looked like it? someone was holding a toy and just going yeah. like this the way it was floating um, like, it's that, too that second one they're the ones I like, the ones that make me go, oh. But like, that wasn't even part like, of it. I got goosebumps because I thought the bit down the bottom was just someone like just around chilling. the corner. Just chilling, yeah, yeah. Until I see that. Yeah, because you didn't oh. even notice the first time no, that I happened. Did, I, no, and that was in the baby's room. You can get like new babies, innit? Like if that's in your baby's room. Popular Jordanian livestream ghost hunter Hassan Barbar is back with another terrifying investigation as he travels to an abandoned house in the middle of nowhere. These ones are always bad. The house is said to be haunted by a dark spirit or jinn. As Hassan explores, he records everything live for his Snapchat followers. Soon, he begins to hear a very chilling sound. I already thought <laughs> stuff. I thought that was music on the video then. And it, Did you see it? And it ducked, yeah, it ducked. Don't run there, don't run there. I hate these ones in the dark and that. Hassan sees a dark figure peeking out from the door of the abandoned house. As it darts back inside, Hassan runs to the building, but the figure has disappeared. It's choreographed. But whatever is roaming the property seems to be getting even closer. Oh. <laughs> First, your brain goes, that's a shadow. But it didn't... Bismillah. It didn't, like, go until he got there. I know. Home time. Home time. Again, Hassan runs as fast as he can, only to find nothing. He's beginning to get a little spooked, mm. but he continues on. And then things get downright <laughs> chilling. I want to help. What? And he ran towards it. Not that I got hit on my foot, guys. I got his foot out. Bismillah. 
no, 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 I'm not looking. Fuck the terrifying video. scream becomes ear piercingly loud, and Hassan once again attempts to run toward the source of the sound, but he painfully stubs his toe against a piece of cement. <laughs> The room appears to be completely empty as Hassan checks his injured toe. Then, out of nowhere, the intense screaming is back, and now it seems to be right where he's standing. Hassan is frightened, but keeps filming for his livestream audience. That's when things take a terrifying turn. How can they... How's it not been a terrifying turn already? These ones are always the worst. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. أعوذ بكلمات الله التمات من شر ما خلق. I'm watching like a tenth of the screen. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. Don't be behind him. أعوذ بكلمات الله التمات من شر ما خلق. Don't be behind him. بسم الله لا يضر مع اسمه شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء ولا في السماء. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. أعوذ بكلمات الله التمات من شر ما خلق. He's just spinning way too quick. No, guys, I'm tired. Um, I'm tired as well. As Hassan looks out a window, he gets hit in the neck by something. As he points the camera towards himself to show his injured neck, a horrifying dark figure suddenly appears right behind him. Terrified, he turns around, but again, there's no one there. That's when Hassan has finally had enough. He decides to just get out of there. Yep. So did Hassan Barbar capture a malicious jinn or spirit live on camera? Or is it all effects and careful editing? That's bare effect. As always, you, you decide. Think? No. You can find more creepy videos of Hassan's adventures over on his YouTube channel, Hassan Barbar. Bleh. These don't affect you much, innit? Well, in general. I can't watch them. I Do you know why? It's because I believe. And because I understand what I believe, there's nothing to question. What? You see, like, if you're in an empty room like that and it's just you and your phone, mm. what is the quickest way to kill yourself? Because if I'm... If you hold your breath, you pass out. If I'm in that situation... Exhale. And Exhale and that, then don't breathe. And that scream happens... Rather than run away, I want to know what's the quickest way I can just end it. Press start. Just like press start. Press like, up. Sort that, of like that's usually the quick way. Jump as high as I can and like land on my head. <laughs> you can't what jump that high. What is the quickest way? <laughs> you can't jump that high. I can jump highish and mm, that puts some. Um, what is the quickest way out? Because <laughs> even like watching that that scream when he was in the room. Yeah, that was too much. That's too much for me. I, I'm out. But I feel like there's a thin line between these spirits and disturbing the spirits. Them ones like that one is in like the Middle East and stuff like that. They're always the worst. Mhm. Mm it's because they're they're, the there must be so many abandoned. I need a drink. So many abandoned buildings. Mm. Do you feel better now? Yeah. That was number three. Yeah, I know. Um, I don't need new pants. But I, yeah, I just don't think it phases me as much because I believe in it. Mm. Whereas. I say I don't think it's real, but I can't <laughs> stop like, panicking. Follower. <laughs> this next video was sent in by a new <laughs> top five viewer. He says that his uncle used to work in a rental store. One day, as he was walking in the door, he felt as if someone or something firmly touched him on the back. He looked around, but no one there. But when he checked the store security footage, he was shocked to the core. Sorry, I can't believe that happened. Dude, you saw me in touch with you. And it's on camera. Person behind me, dude. Look at the man. Now watch. Touches me. Gone. Gone, dude. Look. I'm like, what the? F <laughs> oh my god, man. <laughs> oh 
Ja. 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 Now, normally I would say that what you see on the footage is simply caused by a common camera compression glitch. But the guy's reaction is just not so easy to explain. The man looks around in confusion, and it seems that he truly believes that someone just touched him, even though there's no one there. So could this strange mist that seems to follow him be something paranormal? Let me know down in the comments. Off the air. Right, first of all, because of what they understand in the security as our uh, certain things look like something, they've already given a definition to what this could be as a compression glitch, yeah? Uh, yeah and I've, I've will, seen them. For you to check the security camera, you must have really you felt, felt like felt something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah. you to be like, no, no, something different. Yeah, yeah, something, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I get that. Pinch my bum. But, something did that. but for instance, that allows him to even laugh at the situation. <laughs> Never going back there. Or oh, you're touching me. No. No. But, yeah, so like, there's a definition of something that it could be as opposed to what it really is. Like no one's saying it isn't really a compression glitch, but I've seen I've seen that looking at you know security footage and things like that. That things that can't really be explained, but it, it's you can never always see things on camera like that. It's like you you were your pictures. Oh, you've the dots. always got white dots Bruh. everywhere, I, and no one else has. Maybe we should we should look into that and see if that's still popping. Or maybe we shouldn't. Why? It's just, let's What's not, the worst? You keep your your ghosts with you, yeah. I don't every. There's no white dots on me in pictures. There's no white dots. Listen, 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 Antonis Vlahos is a paranormal investigator from the Greek YouTube channel Herfosikes Drastiriotites, which in English translates to Paranormal Activities. Antonis says that he was sent multiple reports from townspeople about the strange things happening in a quiet and mostly abandoned mountain village in Greece. The locals claim that one day, some time ago, something strange and unexplained appeared in the sky above the town. Some call it a, quote, thing and some describe it as an ominous glow. Since the creepy incident, the locals claim that they experience non-stop unexplained phenomena inside their homes. They say that they feel like they are being watched and can't sleep because whenever they try to get some rest, they get the grotesquely odd sensation of worms crawling on their feet. The activity has gotten so intense that almost all of the villa- That is very descriptive. This is a whole town, by the way. Oh. This is going to be like Resident Evil when he goes there searching the whole time. Don't watch it or play it. Decided to leave the town for good. The very few inhabitants left are still looking for answers. They abandoned the town. Antonis Vlahos is skeptical about the strange reports, but agrees to travel to the small mountain town to investigate. When he and his cameraman arrive, they discover that many of the town's homes are indeed abandoned. <laughs> They decide to spend the night inside one of these abandoned homes this to try and capture Resident some Evil. of the reported strange phenomena on camera. As this they explore Resident the abandoned Evil. house, they begin to get the feeling that whoever used to live there left in a hurry. Oh, we've got eight minutes of Resident Evil. I'm already getting shivers. Furniture and electronics are left behind in the house, but strangest of all, even family photos are left scattered everywhere. 
It appears that the former Who's occupants you? left in such a rush that they didn't even have time to pack away their precious the, family the keepsakes. Somewhere. Later that night, Antonis and his cameraman decide to lay down for a rest, but they leave their nah. cameras recording just in case. That's when they capture something downright chilling. I saw it's downright chilling. Is that a deer? Is it a donkey? What? What's this radio? Is it a donkey? Yeah. I know this one. Do you keep busting jokes? Watch what comes on the screen. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I'll try to turn it to humor before it gets scary. Now that's what I call music. Stop plugged in. <laughs> There's too many dark corners behind him. So much. I must have got that. This is Resident Evil, I'm telling you. jolts up and calls out to his cameraman. They both hear a very creepy sound coming from somewhere inside a nearby cabinet. They discover it's a radio, but the radio isn't plugged into any power source and the antique receiver doesn't even have a compartment for batteries. Suddenly, the radio just stops playing and Antonis and his cameraman are baffled by what they've just witnessed. Eventually, they decide to lay down for a rest once again. Again? It did not go well. Obviously. Adverts. The whole house should. <laughs> Oh no. I don't appreciate all these sound effects that Nuke's putting in either. In it? He's making it like Resident Evil by all this music. If it was even Nuke that put it in. I said I will not go in. <laughs> yeah, this is me. No less than three different this cameras camera? recording when suddenly the whole house starts to house shake. shaking and then what? The yeah, the chair fly goes. into the air and a chair <laughs> is thrown across one of the house's Bruh. rooms. The Drinks. terrified team runs outside to safety, leaving all of their equipment <laughs> inside. Antonis explains that this is the creepiest and most intense activity he has ever experienced. So did the paranormal activities team I don't know what real that was. paranormal activity on camera? Or is that him just Are the stories out? about the abandoned town true? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Like, that like what's going on with you this, this camera doesn't make any more sense. Scary investigation over on the YouTube channel, yeah. 
for updates and creepy posts that are truly bizarre. Follow me on Instagram here and follow me on Twitter there. Thanks for watching. Uh, we can go back in the morning. Mm. Definitely. I feel like if... Another ghost video out of the way. I feel like if your brain can explain what you've seen in some sort of logical format, I'll, we'll you don't. See, that last one, the fact that the cameras are shaking makes the house look like it's shaking more than it actually would have been. Because mm. say like... Say like I'm doing this. Yeah. If you move the camera as well, it looks like it's shaking twice as much as it is. I will say like the house looked like it was about to fall down. Yeah. But if you noticed everything that was being recorded, it wasn't like I've never experienced an earthquake, but I can only imagine it's just a very, very constant, strong vibration feeling. What was recorded was things just getting dashed. That's what I said. The house probably wasn't shaking as much as it looked like it was, but the fact that pictures were just going yeah, <laughs> and then the chair. But that's what I'm saying. No, now think about it logically. Yeah, if the house starts shaking, vibration causes things to move, not not, up not <laughs> or <laughs> over there. <laughs> but first of all, them going to a, a whole abandoned town is not the one for people to just leave their homes a whole town to just I know they said there's still a few people that live there but a whole town to just leave their homes with all their stuff in it and say like yeah we've had enough we're all moving yeah we can go in the morning that was funny I'd say leave it <laughs> I think they had like two cameras probably bare lights and in there I don't know which made me think yeah you know like um the guy that was checking out the the random place in the Arab guy, yeah. Mm. Imagine if he, he had a camera guy watching him do all of this stuff. You just see a guy acting. They never, they never do. <laughs> they never do those ones. They always go by themselves, and they're always like just like live streaming. They never go in there to like record like proper videos. It's always just that one was the worst one. That one might have been one of the worst ones. What the screen we've seen, yeah. Mm. Not even because his shadow was popping up behind him and all that. Just the screaming and stuff. Yeah, there was there was a few extra things. Yeah, that one had me shaking. That no, the it, scream when I, he was I, in I the room. I got goosebumps for a few seconds. When the scream when he was in actually in the room. The oh, loud long. scream. I actually like. I'm pretty sure I made a noise when it happened, and covered my eyes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. When I watched this back and edit, I'm pretty sure I, watched, <laughs> I made a, a noise or something. Well, yeah. Let, let us know what you guys think, because. I think if there's an explanation, you your brain processes it and then you're not really that affected. Mm -hmm. And because I believe certain things, I react differently to pussy pants over here. But um, yeah, it's, it's it's explainable. And it's because we're watching it and you know in that situation, you wouldn't even be caught a hundred miles closer. You wouldn't be caught in the same country. <laughs> even the one that was in Liverpool. <laughs> Somehow, I'm gone. But yeah, um, yeah. Let us know what you guys think, can it? If there's, yeah, even if there's suggestions to different types. Yeah, as per videos. usual, we know like Nuke isn't the only channel that do it. I know there's another one called Shadow Man who does these sort of videos. Um, so maybe take a look at some of those. But you guys have probably seen more of these videos than we have. So if there's any like ones that you know are scarier. Than the rest if it's not apparent i'm oh. very i'm i'm really enjoying these videos so yeah yes yeah. bring all the suggestions and um, we're happy to do them um, also enjoying his reaction we have got one suggestion to do yeah if like dolls or oh, the creepy like, ones creepy dolls yeah so okay. i know no I don't fuck with we've them. got that there's, there's no logical explanation we've got that in the locker but yeah anything just anything you want any anything you anything think. you think <laughs> we should watch we shall try yeah, it other than that remember to like the video share subscribe subscribe to the channel subscribers are jumping up nicely thank you to anyone that subscribed lately yeah tell a friend slowly cause... slowly getting up there Every and, uh, everybody's at home on media that's yeah. it but at least we're trying to entertain it and see and learn new things mm -hmm. like guys guys that live in 
these weird Arab countries have a thousand haunted places to go and they go by themselves. No, you can stay there. And Americans don't know how to translate a Yorkshire accent. <laughs> <laughs> well, until next, <laughs> until next time, guys. Later. I ain't drinking Hennessy no more. Well, that depends what I'm on. Okay, I light, I light, I light them on it right now. Looking for a bad bitch that's trying to bite down. Eat them up. Anything goes, you know. This where anything goes, you know.